Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to import experimental material data for optical simulations. This tutorial is relevant for Lumerical's optical solvers, FTTT solutions, and mode solutions. For optical simulations, defining the correct material properties is crucial for getting the correct simulation results. For optical simulations, this means that we need to define the real and imaginary part of the refractive index, or permittivity, as a function of wavelength or frequency. In order to obtain results that match well with experimental measurements, it's always a good idea to use material properties that most closely resemble the experimental conditions. For example, when calculating a scattering cross-section of a silver mesphere, the result can be very dependent on material properties. Here you can see that for solar, the refractive index is actually quite different depending on which reference you choose. And this is why it's always a good idea to use the data that most closely matches your experimental conditions. So let's see how we can do this in FTTD solutions. First, I need a file that contains the experimental data. So you can see here this file has three columns. The first is in wavelength, uh, units of nanometers. The second and third columns are the real imaginary part of my refractive index. And now in the software, I want to start by clicking on the material database. I'm going to click on the Add button and add a sample data. And I'm going to call the sample data new material. And here I can click on the import data. And I'm going to select the text file that contains the experimental measurements. And I'm going to make sure that I'm using the right units for wavelength and I'm using the index. And here I can check that my data has been imported properly. And you can now see this new material uh, with the right data. And next, I also want to go to the Material Explorer. And I want to make sure that the material I just added is imported correctly. So I'm going to select the new material. I'm going to set the simulation bandwidth that I want. And I can click on Fit and Plot. Here you can see that the green dots are the material data I just imported. So here's the real and the imaginary part. And the blue line is what the FDTD simulation actually uses. So I want to make sure that uh, the fitting is good. And I can close it. And once we verify that the material is imported correctly, I can now set any object to use this material by going into the Material tab. And um, under the Material drop-down menu, I should be able to see my new material.